Make sure you check out our new sponsor, the Health Blaze. All the information is in the description. Use the promo code above. Good fill one boxing at 18% off of all their natural products from deodorant, pomade, toothpaste, and much, much more. And they have additional discounts on their website as well. That's the healthblaze.com. Start December 20th. That promo code is good for 18% off. We go. It's a rumor going out there that Jesse Hart will make his return at light heavyweight on the Tyson Fury ESPN debut on the undercard versus Aldir Alvarez. Let's talk about it. We back. Goodfellow Sports TV. Don't forget, check out our sponsor, The Hellblaze, thehellblaze.com. Promo code Goodfellow One Boxing. Get you 18% off the 100% all natural products. And today, I will be doing a giveaway. So, um, everybody be patient. Um, so, you know, do live streams today. I do multiple live streams and be giving um, codes away for free stuff. And I'll tell you how it works when I do it. But we here. We blessed. And, um, yeah, Boxing Talking uh, G, uh, and I'll link the article, link in the description. Uh, I was talking to Jesse Hart, and he said that um, if you could fight a guy like Alder Alvarez, you know, is that a good guy? He was like, oh, man, you know, I can't talk on that. So, in the interview, it made it, made it seem like, you know, the guy that did the interview hit it on the head. So, you know, Vargas, uh, I mean, Vargas Hart could be fighting Alder Alvarez next. Um, at 175, he didn't rule out going back down to 168. Um, you know, if Alvarez can't beat Jesse Hart, it's time to hang it up. You know, Alvarez should obliterate Jesse Hart. You know, Jesse Hart ain't that good. Hell of an athlete, quick, fast, you know, powerful, but not skillful. You know, don't got a jaw. And maybe the weight, maybe the extra weight to help him get back, to, get closer to his natural weight. Or maybe at 168, he was draining himself, you know. But Aldi or Alvarez is just a better fighter. You know, unless Kovalev took something out of him, but, or he just, you know, aged overnight. But, you know, this ain't no contest. You know, I'm surprised they put Var- I mean, Hardy in tough after fighting, um, uh, after he just fought uh, Gilberto Ramirez. And Ramirez ain't that good. You know, Alvarez whooped Ramirez and Jesse Hart the same night. You know, he'd beat both of them on the same night if he still got it. And maybe Hart, maybe Hart is getting, you know, Alvarez at the right time. But salute to Hart for stepping up in competition after the loss. So many people would have took a soft touch and three soft touches. So Hart, if you fight Aldi Alvarez, Hart is really gunning for the gusto. He really proving that he good, and he banking on, especially he move up away. He banking on that he gonna feel he gonna feel out at one seventy five, be able to eat more, get stronger. But you know his jaw is like paper mache, you know it's 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 soft, you know what I'm saying. If you pop, you punch it, it will crumble. But maybe at one seventy five he get stronger. Maybe he's raining himself. He didn't have that much energy at one sixty eight. So. Um, intriguing fight. It sounds like it's shaping up to be a solid card. It's, you know, top rank is trying to give solid cards. You know, Crawford, um, Amir Khan card ain't that bad with Stevenson and Christopher Diaz, Tiafim Lopez versus an uh, unknown guy. I can't remember his name. He, like, top 10 in the WBC rankings. And, um, we got some other things on there. And I heard, uh, Tyson Fury could be fighting Oscar Rivas. So, you know. So they trying to, you know, get better with the cards while PBC getting worse with their cards. You know, you watch PBC cards, you be like, man, they always showing these two small Mexican dudes that nobody know who the hell they is. No offense to them, but, you know, we used to seeing star-studded cards over there. And now top rank is coming with the better overall cards. And PBC is pretty much not coming with nothing at all but boring bum bashes on the undercard. But like I said before, I think I expect Alvarez to be able to, you know, dictate the pace. Um, I'll box Jesse Hart. I expect him to stop Jesse Hart, to be honest. Uh, that's my expectations on that. Um, I expect him to stop Jesse Hart. It shouldn't be that hard. Hart get out of position. Hart wild. He fast and he and he long. That's going to get Alvarez some problems, but Hart don't know how to use it. He don't have no skills. He don't know how to use his skills to his ability. If, if, Je- if Jesse Hart got in there and was trained by somebody or somebody can help him really harness his athletic ability and, and learn how to protect his chin more, and really, and really, and really clean up the finer, finer things that he need to learn, like, you know, how to draw a punch without, you know, without squaring up or without, you know, without. It's, sometimes he would exaggerate. He throw these wild punches and don't get back in position. And versus guy like some of them, like Gosvick at, at light heavyweight, he gonna make you pay for that. You know, he gonna make you pay. So he need to learn how to use his height, use his speed, and just you know rehaul the way he punch. But, you know, that ain't going to happen in no training camp. So, you know, like I said, they put him in there with Alvarez. Don't be surprised if they don't release Jesse Vargas from top rank after Alvarez get done mangling them. Don't be, hey, if Jesse Hart mangled Alvarez, don't be surprised if Alvarez don't get cut from top rank. 
you know. And that's that's real spiel, man. But good fight, you know. Two good athletes. I think Alvarez is the better fighter, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe they took something out of him fighting um, Kovalev, you know, because he did take some big punish punishments in the first fight. But you know, it is what it is. I'll link the article in the description. Let me know how you feel. Good fella Sports TV. Appreciate it. Don't forget we're doing a giveaway, y'all. Today, you catch one of my live streams. I'll give away, um, give give some of these uh, codes away, so y'all get some free products from the Hellblaze. And before you do, before I give them out, go over there and check them out. Website in the description, hellblaze.com. Promo code, go for the one box in the description if you want to buy something right now. Um, other than that, we're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can reach out to the email if you got business, question, inquiry, sponsorship, or a video request. Other than that, continue to share, share the videos, and I'll continue to put it down like no other. If you want to make a donation to the channel, that link's always in the description. And you also can share the videos. It's the best way you can actually help. Share, share, share. You know, but we're going to continue to talk boxing. We're going to continue to put it down. Goodfellow Sports TV, your boy CJ Goodfellow. One time for the one time. Be grinding. Let me know what y'all think about this Hart versus Alvarez fight. LA Heavyweight, we gone.